to uh, speak to us today. Um, I think the bio went out uh, earlier that we sent it out in our newsletter, but let me talk a little bit about, about Whitney. Um, Whitney is the Director of Account Services for Advantage Communications. It's a full service marketing and advertising and PR agency located in Little Rock. In this role, she develops and executes strategic marketing communications for clients, including General Motors, Stamp Out Smoking, UAPB, the Arkansas Department of Health, HIV, STD section, and the Arkansas Adult Learning Resource Center. That's a, a wide range of clients that you have there. She also provides public relations support and services to those and other clients of the agency. She began her career as a public relations specialist at Trent Capital Management, an independent financial planning services company, also located in Little Rock. Prior to her role at Trent, she worked as a marketing associate at Carlton Bates Company. She is a Little Rock native. She earned a bachelor's degree in PR from the University of Central Arkansas and a master's degree in Applied Communication Studies Leadership from the University of Arkansas at Little Rock. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Accompanying Whitney is Michael Steele, president of Advantage Communications. Her engagement uh, that made him cancel <laughs> his scheduled, <laughs> uh, scheduled presentation with us today and, uh, and uh, after all, so he's able to be here with Whitney, and Whitney is going to replace him. We're just glad that both of you are here. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Whitney. This is Whitney Howard and Mr. Michael Steele. <coughs> I either got to get glasses or you got to give me a beer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very fortunate to uh, have my boss with me here. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> you know, we, we focus a lot on customers and understanding your customers is really, really key to our business. And I was uh, speaking recently and I was communicating to a group about millennials. And early on, I used to say millennials, millenniums, millenniums. What they said, no, that's wrong. <laughs> it's millennials. So I was at the table, and I picked up this wonderful gift. Who placed this? Oh, I think these are so cool. And so <laughs> Not everybody was, knows what they are anymore, but yeah. well, that's exactly, that's exactly right. <laughs> so I'm sitting here at the table with my millennials. <laughs> and I said, these are really cool. And they said, well, what is it? <laughs> so they passed it around and they day. said, did it, does it float? <laughs> <laughs> well, how have times changed? How have times changed? Now, everybody knows this is a coin purse. <laughs> Nobody carries coins anymore, but we hand them out because they're different. It's yeah. fantastic. And thank you for it. <laughs> but really, understanding your customers is really key. What we're going to talk about today is public relations, and we are a public relations company, and, and, and it's really the cornerstone of much of our work. Many of our clients have uh, 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 challenging budgets, and we have to supplement uh, uh, our media buy and media campaigns with public relations work. We believe that we can fill some gaps and we can be just as powerful as other bigger brands by outsmarting them and leveraging public relations. So that's what we're going to chat about today. But before I get started, started as, as, as I, I, a good smart PR guy and marketing guy, uh, Arvis Bank is the most important client we have. <laughs> 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 Uh, there's an organization that understands the value of public relations, but also understands the value of customers. Uh, this organization won the J.D. Powers Award a couple years ago. And you think about this customer, year. and this year too, okay. absolutely. Uh, uh, which is amazing that an organization can be recognized by the industry standard for customer service. And this is a regional, very powerful regional bank. Uh, uh, recognized for customer service. The customer experience today is more important than it's ever been. Consumers today are so different. I don't know about your business, but in my business they're so different. Not just millennials, but the expectations are different. So reaching them effectively is key, and that's what we're going to share with you today. We start this with everything that we do because we believe in this concept of value creation, that everything that we do, we must create value or why would you even consider engaging us? So our focus is about, is about creating value around our customers' experience and also internally, because we see each other internally as customers. 
and we treat each other as customers. That paradigm is a reality of our country today. Today, corporate America is, 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 is cash rich, and many of you know this. Corporate America is cash rich. Four trillion dollars sit in corporate America coffers. They have built what they call equity, fair, uh, brand equity in their businesses, and, and they have not invested in human capital. They have built, invested in brands, and we are incredibly successful across the board. I was chatting with Dean about Coca-Cola just briefly. Coca-Cola is a magnificent company. I grew up in the Coca-Cola system. Coca-Cola is a vastly powerful company economically, more than $200 billion. And when you look at the Coca-Cola company, and you've got hard assets, what do they really own in trucks and buildings and so forth? About $30 billion of that is hard assets. The difference is perception. Wow. You looked at our, well, our, you looked at their competitor. Uh, I made an announcement the other day about uh, Beyonce for $50 million. When you put it in perspective, it's actually a small amount of money if you can attract more customers. So we're gonna to talk today about public relations and customers. That's why I'm here today. What we sell uh, at Advantage, much like uh, the story on Coke, clearly not the numbers. I wish they were the same numbers. Uh, what we sell is our ideals, our vision. Uh, uh, our, our business is basically marketing concepts and ideals and business plans that help our clients sell more stuff. I'm going to quickly go through this. I know uh, time is limited. I had asked for an hour and a half, and they said I had 20 minutes. <laughs> So uh, uh, I'm going to quickly go through our, our customer uh, uh, piece. Uh, the environment today is changing and changing dramatically. I'll chat on that briefly. The importance of public relations, how we define public relations, and how to pre-sell your businesses uh, regardless of if you're selling insurance or if you're selling uh, room nights or if you're selling uh, whatever uh, goods or services. And then lastly, we'll close with uh, an ROI, because I believe everything that we do should be measurable. If you can't measure it, you shouldn't do it, is the rule of advanced communications. So if you can't measure it, don't do it. Makes my discussion with the team pretty simple. So Whitney comes and says, I want to invest this amount of money in a public relations campaign. I say, what do you expect back? And she says, I think I could generate $25,000, $35,000, $50,000 in incremental public relations value. That's what I want to hear, and that's what our clients want to hear, and I'm going to share with you a little bit of, of our formula. The, the consumer today, or the customer today, is evolving and evolving quickly. Uh, the expectations upon us uh, are, are hugely demanding. The, the expectations are driven by information today Customers have more information than they've ever had before, and they get it much faster. That changes the discussion. They, al they also have more information on uh, knowledge, product knowledge, than ever before. Years ago, you could communicate to a customer just product benefits, and we really not talk about product features like we do today, or like we did in the past. Today, consumers want to know. They're actually reading the ingredients in many cases. Isn't that amazing? Years ago, that's not the case. No one cared what was in the can. Nobody cared what the product was. They pretty much consumed it and took it for granted. Today, that's very, very different. And then there's this incredible demand for customer service. Our American, our American consumer marketplace is very, very spoiled, and they demand customer service. Meeting those customer service, those, meeting those customer service demands has huge value back to to a company or organization. Here's three individuals, and I say, which one uh, represents your business? Uh, the first uh, individual is praying for success. Uh, the second individual is uh, flabbergasted or frustrated. And the third, I think, represents more of what we try to do, and that's, that's to control your own destiny. We believe that public relations helps you control your own outcome. 
what I mean by that is that outcomes are predictable if planned. You ever make a sales call and you weren't prepared? You ever make a sales call when you're thoroughly prepared? What a difference. At Advantage Communications, we have a strategy and philosophy that we should, in fact, manage our outcomes before we engage with our customers. That simply means that if we're selling an advertising campaign or marketing campaign, we will build a campaign, and before we present the campaign, we start to, to, to leak information to our customers about the campaign. We, we, we sell the ideal before we sell it. That's the ideal, to ensure that you have success. Public relations, there's a lot of uh, the definitions for public relations, and I believe public relations is pretty simple. The ideal of, of good, solid public relations is really to pave the way, to pave the way for marketers like me and you to generate sales activities. You can look at some of the greatest companies in the world and sometimes they forget or they have a strategy that they need to take a second look at. Uh, Walmart is a wonderful organization, but sometimes Walmart may enter markets and there's customer resistance to them entering the market. That's a public relations issue. That's a PR issue. The role of public relations before we would launch products at the Coca-Cola company, we would go in sometimes a year in advance. We would go into countries a year in advance before we started to manufacture goods and services. We, was, we would go in with the notion that we would develop and foster an environment that's conducive for us to sell our products. And if you're not doing that, you should. Make sense? I can tell that Whitney uh, wrote, wrote this chart because it is far smarter than I am. <laughs> <laughs> One of the, the items that we need to communicate from a public relations standpoint is the last bullet point here, and that's the value proposition. All of us are in business and we're all selling something, whether we're selling educational uh, benefits or we're selling banking services, we're all selling something. And, and, and what we do as public relations experts, that we package the benefits and always communicate the brand benefits of your business consistently, consistently. And that is key with any public relations campaign. If you are, Marketing hotel nights, that's key. You need more nights in your rooms, more rooms in your nights, or nights in your rooms. <laughs> you need more butts in beds. <laughs> <laughs> the name of the game is, is to sell more stuff to more people. So you wanna pre-sell your hotel, you wanna pre-sell and let them know the quality, they get, the quality of experience and promise before they get there, not when they arrive. The same with the university. We use butts and seats as ours. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> butts and seats is a common term. Here's a, a public relations uh, vehicle. This is a client of ours, and it's a really s a smart client. And we took this client because we thought it was really relevant. And this is the. Uh, Coalition for Tobacco Free Arkansas. I love this work. I love uh, marketing uh, 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 products that help us with health literacy in Arkansas. Uh, that's my, my passion. I, I love it. I think it's important. Uh, uh, we're, we're leading the country in many aspects on, in, in the cessation smoking initiatives. This client asked us to help them with a public relations uh, campaign. Fairly small budget. Fairly small budget. We were promoting in November the Lung Cancer Awareness Month. Uh, Whitney actually put the, t the, uh, the plan together and, and we hosted a press conference. The objective was to generate $40,000 in free advertising. How many of us could use $40,000 in free advertising? What does it take to generate that? And that's what we're gonna share with you. This campaign, this, this small investment, generated $55,000 in free media. The, sp the cost of one spot around the news it averages about $450 for 30 seconds. So if you can engage your customers in some aspect of free media, you win and your client wins, period. <laughs> 
Make sense? We had a press conference at the Capitol. We had coverage from all the major stations. And Whitney's going to tell you exactly how she did it, and it was a very small budget. And the point here is that regardless of what business that you're in, you're doing, you're, you're, you're involved in some aspect of community service. Whatever aspect of community service that you're involved in, whether it's uh, uh, working at homeless shelters or, or, or working uh, uh, to feed uh, uh, homeless people or whatever your initiative is, tell people about it. If that's your conviction, then tell them. At the Coca-Cola Company, for years, we struggled with how do we sponsor uh, 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 so many requests that would come to the company. And we said, let's develop a strategy around a public relations campaign, and we will stand for one thing. That one thing ended up to be education. And so everything around education was a reasonable opportunity for us to consider. It was a strategic platform for us. Whatever it is that you're involved in, that's a that's the, 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 the item that you should leverage for awareness. This event, again, generated tremendous uh, public relations value for a very small amount of money. This other uh, uh, item is H2O. This is a, 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 a program that you're very familiar with. It is uh, an item that we market at Advantage Communications. And I'll hold this up. So you can see it. It is an insert. It's an insert. Where? And the water, water bill. Your water bill. That's right. We market this as value to to customers. There's 121,000 households that that we we market these inserts to. We actually sell these inserts. Our internal sales team markets these inserts. These inserts go to, again, 121,000 households, and we support uh, River City Ministries and Watershed. Wonderful benefit. So for those individuals that can't pay their utility bills, these nonprofits uh, uh, use these resources from the sales of this item to help those in need of their, their payment on their water bills. It's a great public relations vehicle and the owner of this property is who? Yeah. It comes in the utility bill. This is Central Arkansas Water. Makes sense, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So Central Arkansas Water's public relations vehicle to, to protect their brand and their image is H2O. H2O Water. <laughs> <laughs> And here it is here. Some of the clients in this insert are very, very loyal, and they use it and leverage it for profit. Uh, for an example, and probably one of our longstanding, is Precision Tune. Precision Tune uses this as a feeder brand. For $19, you can get an oil change. What are they after? More business. That's right. You come in for $19, and you leave with a $55 bill. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It's to capture more customers. Okay, we think that, that creating value is the name of the game in everything that we do. Uh, if you create value, you increase profits, you increase visibility for your business. We think that you should constantly tell your audience who you are and what you're doing consistently. For those brands that advertise, and I'll take Arvis Bank for an example, and this is true for most brands across the country, uh, no brand is on the air uh, uh, every day, with the exception of brands like the Lottery, where they have to feed information back quickly. Most brands are on the air for a short window of time, and they're off the air. On, off. In our business, we call it flighting. On, off. On for two weeks, off for two weeks. On for two weeks, off for two weeks. What happens when we're off? Because most consumers don't know when you're off. The assumption is that you're on all the time. In between the time that you're on air and off, the off periods are excellent opportunities for public relations. So we're out seeking media interviews, sending press releases out, so that we have a sustaining media campaign that's continuous. The consumer or customer perception is you're on all the time. And in reality, you're on half the time. That's the power of public relations. 
I talked about creating a perception of, 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 of value around your business. You control what your customers think about you. You control what your customers think about you. And if you don't control what your customers think about you, you have a very, very serious problem. We are in the midst of a major rebranding campaign for the University of Arkansas Pine Bluff. There's a brand that has not been tended to. And now we need to, in fact, revitalize that brand and launch public relations initiatives so that they're relevant to their customers. Because their customers are much like these millennials here. But the staff and faculty looks more like me. They're emailing and mailing letters to their customers. What a disconnect, isn't it? So we're launching public relations initiatives to the millennials via how? Facebook. Facebook. Text. Text is the medium. I can call my son. I can call my son, and I know and he's in Arizona. And I know I know where he is. I could call him, and he won't answer the phone. And I could text him, and he'll respond right back. <laughs> different customer profile. So we have to be flexible with our marketing and communications and speak to those customers as they consume their media, which is quite differently. Public relations campaign for this segment of the population is different from my segment of the population. My customer is quite different and their customer is quite different. Make sense? I believe in positioning your brand. I mentioned earlier about the story on Coke about standing for something, uh, uh, advanced communications, we're always donating our time and we support nonprofits and we support small businesses. Those in the business community know us and that's what we stand for. That's our public relations initiative. That's what we stand for, what our brand stands for. And as well as education, we are huge advocates of education. That's our discipline. So when we look at sponsorships, we don't sponsor car races, we don't sponsor uh, other items. We sponsor the things that are relevant to our business discipline that gives us exposure for our brand. Very disciplined. Wow, I got through it. I got through it. Now Whitney's going to come up and she is going to bore you to death. Thank you, boss. I don't oftentimes I don't oftentimes get an opportunity to co-present with uh, with my boss, so it's definitely a pleasure to be here. And, and to follow him. I don't know if I'll do such a great job after following that, but I will surely do the best that I can. Um, as, um, as was previously mentioned, um, I do have a background in public relations. It's a field that I absolutely love. Um, I'm a big talker, and I love interfacing with other people. I love telling you about the things that I enjoy doing, and I enjoy convincing other people to get on board with me. And that's what public relations allows you to do. It allows you to manage those perceptions with other people um, that may not know much about you, but hey, tell me about it and tell me why it's valuable. Tell me what I'll benefit um, from what you're sharing with me. We have used some of these basic principles and, and disciplines um, for our agency and our clients, um, and it's all wrapped up in a pretty bow called public relations. So I'll talk to you a little bit about how we apply the actual tools um, that are available to you um, through public relations. Relevant free media opportunities. That is the name of the game for PR. Um, we're oftentimes hearing that, that public relations is free, 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 and it is. Now, of course, you do have your limited budget, so you're, the question that you're always asking is, how can I get the biggest bang for my buck? That is what we do every single day. Relevance is what I'd like to spend a few moments on. Um, Michael did a great job of talking about understanding your customer and the message that you are delivering to your customer, making sure that that is as relevant as possible and that they take something away from it. I always talk about the principle of, of whip them. Anybody know what whip them is? What's in it for me? Um, and that's, that, that is, is, that that is something that I guess that's a <laughs> thing. I guess so, because at the, end of, at, the end of, at the end of the day, it's like, I hear you, that looks nice, yeah, that's pretty. What am I going to take away from it? Public relations allows you to communicate the benefits and what you're taking away. So that's that relevance. Some of the tools that we utilize and that um, I do every day in my role at the agency at Advantage Communications is on-air interviews, scheduling interviews for those individuals um, that can speak intelligently in, in about the business. 
um, my boss, oftentimes is going out, and we also do this for our clients as well, we have them go out on what we call media tours. Um, so you go into the media market, whether it be TV, radio, um, print as allowed, and you just talk to your customers through these media properties about your brand, about the products and services that you're selling. Um, they're very open to it. The media community is always looking for new information and new stories, um, new things to share with consumers. Um, if you communicate to that, that media person why uh, you want to come on their television show and talk about whatever it may be and you show them uh, why, why it will be of value to their listeners or to their viewers, they're more open to having you, having you come on. Um, we've worked with all of the major TV networks. Uh, radio stations are also a great uh, partner for interviews. And again, interviews for a couple of minutes. Pre you you pre-sell that media person on what you're going to come on and talk about so they're not just asking you off the wall questions. You do the, the meeting before the meeting, you prep. And then you get on and you look like a star. It's simple things that can give you massive exposure. Press releases, I'm sure you, you know about press releases, but again, it's, it's something that's been around for a while, but it's still very valid. Um, allows you to mass distribute your information out to the media community. Um, and the follow-up with press releases is what's integral to your success. Because what you want to do is have that um, media outlet um, provide some exposure to whatever the content is of your press release. Um, so you want them to talk about that information. So the follow-up with them, calling them, visiting, um, to ask them, did they receive it? Will you run my story? Um, all of those things are vital for your success through public relations. Other things are editorials, op-ed stories, feature stories. Um, these are different avenues for you to communicate um, whatever you are expert in. Um, it, 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 there's nothing that's better, there's no greater value than having an outside party communicating on your behalf, talking about how great your company is or this product is. The only way that they can communicate with any level of confidence is if you pre-sell them. You pre-sell them and then they get out there and they sell your message for you. That's value and that's what public relations allows you to do. We actually give the media the questions to ask us or to ask our clients. So we meet with them and say, well, here's your questions, and our client will be here tomorrow. And so when they sit there in the interview, they're asking the questions that we've gave them. Mm -hmm. So our client is prepared, and the reporter is prepared. prepared to, uh, and it was like a charm. Mm -hmm. White papers. Uh, we actually brought um, one of our white papers here, and there are some that are back there on the table. But white papers are also awesome PR tools. Um, mostly because this allows that expert in the company um, to reinforce their position on a certain topic um, that has to do with their industry, that has to do with their expertise. Uh, we utilize our white papers oftentimes um, to send out to our partners, uh, friends of the agency, media communities, and we take a stance. We take a, a point of view on a certain topic and reinforce that this is what we believe in. And hey, give us a call if you want to find out a little bit more about this. So it opens the door for more uh, dialogue and ultimately more opportunities, possibly new customers. So again, what public relations, the way I look at it, I mean, it was something that I learned a while back is it gives, it's, a, it's a, an excuse. It's an excuse to talk to the people that you want to know about your message. Generating a, a frequent excuse to talk to them is what public relations allows you to do. <clears throat> press conferences, I'm sure that we each have been to a press conference at some point or have, have uh, been privy to a press conference. Press conferences are great too. Uh, we've done several press conferences for health, um, for some of our health campaigns and clients, educational campaigns. Um, what the purpose of press conferences is to invite your media out and talk to them in hopes that they will cover your story to get the story out to the masses. What we just did, and Michael talked to, talked to you about this early on the Coalition for Tobacco Free Arkansas, we executed a press conference, had it at the state capitol, and we had every single one of the uh, major television networks come cover the story. Why did they cover the story? Which is ultimately what you want for a press conference. You need to have some cameras there because those cameras will secure your fate in distributing your message to the masses. Um, but they came to cover our story because we communicated the value and we communicated 
why the brand, the, the messaging that Coalition for Tobacco Free Arkansas was communicating, why it was a value to the end customer. Um, we talked about the devastation of tobacco and the ills of tobacco consumption um, and the impact that it's having on the state of Arkansas. There are a lot of folks that smoke in Arkansas and they need to know how you can quit. They need to know what's happening to your body. That's valuable information. Folks care about that. And that's why they came to the press conference. Understanding, you each understand your business. You understand your philosophy. You understand your value proposition. Why not communicate it as often as you can and as least expensive as you can? Social media, Michael did a great job of talking about us wonderful uh, millennials. Communicate to us and to the masses through social media. You don't have to be a millennial to, to be on social media. I think we found some research on uh, the age of, of people that are on social media. It's, it's vast. Utilize social media. Hello, it's free. We know that it's free. Go out on Facebook, Twitter. Uh, utilize social media as uh, a supplement, if you will, and also in integrate it into some of these other tools. Once you get your press release out to the media community, post it out on Facebook, uh, uh, tweet it on Twitter, uh, do those things so that all of your communications tools are working together. And of course, Partnering with Advanced Communications. If you really want to apply your public relations tools, just give us a call. We have our brochure in the back. We'll come again for you right there. A little commercial break. A exactly. Can't, I mean, I can't miss it. I mean, we're PR agency. That's what we're here to talk about. <laughs> so apply your public relations tools. These are some of the things that um, I'd like to leave with you um, to get your mind going. When you go back to the office, I want you to think about these things. I want you to start implementing these things as soon as you get back. These are some ideas uh, of communications messages or topics or content um, that you can leverage uh, through your public relations efforts. Company advancements, announcements on sustainability, or I'm a great corporate citizen. Talking about those kinds of things are awesome. Don't <coughs> miss that opportunity to pat yourself on the back a little bit. It's okay. It, it, it's fine. You can pat yourself on the back. Talk about some of the new things that you're doing, the new changes, the promotions, new hires. Um, if someone in your company has just advanced to a new uh, level in that company and they bring to the company a, a new perspective, new ideas, talk about that. I, I like the, the press release on the membership drive. That should be done right away. Mm -hmm. It was on it's Facebook today. Yeah. That's great. No, the, that the, was press, <coughs> the press release on our, uh, us giving scholarships went on Facebook today. There you go. That's Did you distribute it to the media as well? Mm -hmm. good. That's good. Yes. Good. And then the membership drive is going on Friday or Monday. Mm -hmm. yeah. Participating in community events and activities, that's great as well because you can position your brand um, as a responsible organization, giving back to uh, your customers, giving back to our Kansas, to the community, and everyone enjoys hearing about that. Leadership acknowledgments, that's self-explanatory. If, if, your, if your executive leader or leadership in your company was acknowledged by some grandiose company, um, talk about that. Send that out to the media as well. It helps manage perceptions. You never want to leave yourself vulnerable to allowing your customers to decide who you are and tell and have them tell other people if you didn't tell them first. Manage that perception through public relations. Predisposed to your messaging. And then again, company expertise or strategic point of view, that's much like uh, what we have in our white paper or that's what a white paper will allow you to do. Take a point of view and expound upon that. And these are just a couple of uh, images here on how we've applied some public relations tools uh, for our agency as well as for our clients. Um, over here to the far left, we actually uh, had an opportunity to partner with uh, Ronnie Brewer. Anybody here a basketball fan? All right, great. Uh, he's a great guy. And his platform is on healthy initiatives. He believes in living a healthy, fit life. Of course, I mean, he's an athlete. So who better to partner with for Step Out Smoking? Um, a health initiative and Ronnie Brewer and he's been a great great partner and we are still uh, working with him in our efforts for tobacco cessation. Now at the bottom we um, worked with our Central Arkansas Water client and participated in the Walk for Communities, the Just Walk for Unity um, that was executed by Just for Communities, it's a local nonprofit organization. I'm not sure if you're 
um, familiar with it, but this is just a picture here of the of the walk, and it was also a great public relations initiative. They had sponsors, so it was an opportunity for some of the sponsors to highlight who they are. Uh, we partnered and helped our client, Central Arkansas Water, as they were a presenting sponsor here um, at the event, so free exposure. And a lot of fun, too. Um, these are just a couple of samples of press releases when we've been um, acknowledged uh, by an outside party or uh, also, I have here when we announced our partnership with General Motors, you know we sent out a press release on that. <laughs> and we, and we uh, sent that out to the media and followed up and made sure that people knew we were proud of that. Um, it's great to be proud, so don't sit on that promise. Send it out. It doesn't hurt at all, and it has been very valuable to us because now people know that we're doing business with General Motors, and it's positioned us favorably. Uh, one thing that's important here is when we sent the General Motors response back, we all responded. Several agencies responded, we responded. And General Motors said to us that all the responses were fairly equal, but what differentiated us was the public relations aspect. So they, one of the, the clients had read that we had done something. They said, uh, oh, it was the FBI. They said, wow, you work for the FBI. I saw the work you did for the FBI. And that triggered, we had sent a press release from the FBI work that we've done. And that triggered us to win the General Motors account. They remembered it. They remembered that. That one of the agents. In fact, on the first call, they asked, "How is it to work with the FBI?" That was their first question. To and them. we were like, "Wow, women! How'd you know?" Yeah, oh, okay, know. yeah. <laughs> That's great. Okay. So, a few key takeaways and next steps. Unless you have anything else. No. Awesome. So, utilize public relations to clearly communicate who you are. I think we've, we've spoken about that um, at length today, so I do hope that uh, you understand what, what, where we're coming from. And I'm hoping that you walk away today with some applicable skills that you can take back with you because there is true value in public relations. Seeking opportunities to create value, value, value. You will always hear anybody from Advantage Communications talking about value. That is what has set us apart from um, the others in this industry, and it, it has been our strategic platform for success. Control your own destiny. We believe in a principle called the pre-meetings. Have your meeting before the meeting. Communicate with your key audiences before the meeting so you can walk in there understanding uh, what the desired outcome is. Don't walk in blindsided to anything. Public relations allows you to control your own destiny uh, by managing the, those perceptions and pre-selling your products, your services, your brand. Um, before you even get in front of those folks, you're in front in, before you get in front of your customers. Selling your value proposition, I've pretty much talked about that. Viewing public relations as a must, not a hindrance. Um, we've heard from, from clients that we had to sell on the value of public relations that, well, I, that's just so, that's adjunct. I just do that when I get to it. No, it should be integrated into your plan. It's not something that's, that should be like a toothache, it shouldn't, it shouldn't hurt you. It should be perceived as valuable. Public relations is a must for small brands, large brands, any product, any service. And it must also be sustaining. One-offs won't do it. Just sending out a press release and being silent for five years won't do it. That's not what we're talking about. It needs to be sustaining, uh, continuous, always communicating to those key audiences, to those individuals that can control what is said and what's perceived about your company, always continuously talk to them. And that's all we have today. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. We appreciate it. Thank you. Do you have any questions? I have one.